an FD start. All right. Yeah. So Zane and Milkman, I believe, are red team. Okay. Yes, they are red team. Yeah. So, and this is going to be kind of a battle of the walls on FD, yeah. especially. Ooh, and we definitely saw hitting. that right there, where red team was kind of holding center stage really strong. Yeah. Oh, I love that from red team. They just kind of like gave up on Mar. They're just like, yeah. no, just I don't care. You, you can't really do anything mm -hmm. when you jump run across the stage. That's hard to do at the end. That's hard to know whenever that is like really important. Ooh. Right. Ooh. A little bit of a reach from Zane. Yeah, and that could cost Fox. Well, looks like he actually managed to survive that little 2v1 moment. Oh! Those are. Wow, great pickup from Milkman. So, green team with a slight lead. This is where, like, percentage yeah. and Fox kind of shines. Because Fox is so much better at just racking up damage. Sure, yeah. And Martha just kind of like, oh, well, I can not die with high percentage, mm -hmm. as I say. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that that too. But that's where it kind of comes interesting when you uh, when one team, if Mars gonna get sent off stage and then always come back a bunch of times, you really get opportunities to double team the Fox a lot. <gasps> no, Kendrick Lamar reaches a little bit too much. Yeah, both it's gonna lose call him both the stock. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Ooh, Zing. Great patience on that one. Oh, okay. That was good zoning good from, uh, from Milkman. And now the 2v1, or, if that was get this. Ooh, ooh, a little dangerous. Wow, brutal up tilt. Yeah. Okay, they just go for the edge guard. That's, that's one of the d more difficult decisions in teams, I feel like. Yeah. I struggle with it a lot, and I feel I, I see a lot of teams struggle with it, even at high level, mm -hmm. is when to just kind of forsake an edge guard. Right. And then just kind of go, N no. If you live, you live. If you don't, you don't. We're right. just going to go for the 2v1. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes it's better to go for the uh, to go for the edge guard and have the other person wall out. Yeah, yeah. But again, like both of them can just turn bad so quickly. I feel like it's so teammate dependent. It's so like percent dependent. It's yeah, it's so complicated. Ooh. Oh, Milkman, I love it. Okay, Milk. Arr. Oh, no, Zane's got it. Oh, oh, great. Zane in the corner. Great interference by me. Uh, Milkman. Oh, oh, my God, that was sick. And, yeah, 2-2v1. Two, two Fox is super high percent. Still really rough, but he can close out Fox quick, then that's how he's got to do it. He's doing really good at target switching, but... Ooh, okay. This is dangerous. Oh, misses okay. that edge guard. Fox might be dead. Zayn is 61. I mean, like, there's been worse 2v1s in the world. Oh, great coverage. Oh, I love it. Uh, Best 2v1s aren't really about, like, just murdering the other play, uh, right. opponent. It's all about just taking away options. And that's what makes 2v1s so much... It more impressive whenever you see them against good players. Oh yeah, because good players are like, okay, we're you know I throw you forward, you're in a tech in place. You tech in place. You know, uh, Milkman's gonna cover this one, and I'm you know Zane's gonna cover this option. Oh, yeah. So you just have to, so you know they cover about 75% of the options. Mm -hmm. You have to pick the 25. Yep. Um, because if you pick not, you just take like a ton of damage. Yeah. Like, you can yeah. go from zero to 50 or from 50 to 100 so soon. So whenever a player is like winning a 2v1, they're just constantly like picking that one option that the other two aren't covering yeah. or not letting them get into that situation, which is so, right. so hard. And it's like, it's so crazy because you're playing neutral against two people at once and you have to like bait them both into doing what you want at the same time to yeah. like get openings off of them. It's like crazy. Or just, or just like batter them with target switches. So as yeah, soon as yeah. they want to like, space to get in you just kind of go no yeah but even that requires a bit of a read on the, on on both of them so one of the things that um homemade waffles and fendi kind of struggle with last time is not really a fault of their play it's just a little bit of fault of their decision making where they just kind of reached a little bit too much mm -hmm. on some of uh, like recoveries and stocks right even though Fendi took a lot of, or Ooh. no, Zane took a lot of damage. That was a really good like escape from the corner. Uh -huh. 
Oh, great shield. Shield is broken in teams. It really is. Because grab doesn't get you usually all that much. Ooh, okay. Trading stocks. Green team has a little bit of a momentum right now. Yeah. Oh, like that. That was so dangerous. But it's also like the payoff so good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Zane with his edge cancels, man. Ooh. He did like three edge cancels there. Oh, so. my oh. lord, Fendi. That was so good. I was all in the corner. Oh, this is rough for green. He's fine. Mars recovery is tricky. Ooh, ow. Wow, straight in. Okay. There's a lot of action going on on the left yeah. side of the stage. I think you... I think you just got called. Oh, did I get called for a match? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'll I'll send somebody up. All right. All right, so we got green team with a little bit of a deficit. How much? Um, very, ooh, never mind. Zane is, oh. Ooh, that was so good for Pendy. Yes, that's what you need. Even game again. Again, so he, d he basically just said, no, you're wrong. I can go off stage. I can take those risks. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that was great interference. Nothing really happens. Oh, that's so good. Great call. The Fox is at 69%. Ooh. This could be really big. This is the 2v1s. And... Fendi, ooh, okay. Red team going on a little much. Both Mars just saying, this is my side of the stage, go away. Ooh. Oh, great pickup. Not quite dead yet. Ooh, Fendi just trying to go for it. Puts him back in the corner again. Marth in the corner isn't very good. If you want to know what the difference between a good Marthen teams is and a bad Marthen teams is how they get out of the corner. Ooh, tries for the Swan Pond bombs. Ooh, and back in the same situation as last game, the same 2v1. Wow. It's good. So I have Hunter from PGA joining me to How's finish going? off the set. I uh, I know you don't like to call sets early, but ooh, yeah. and we are out of here. But Fendi and Homie Waffle is making a good showing of it, yep. regardless. I only saw the end, but it looked it looked pretty close. It so weirdly, like interestingly enough, both <laughs> games ended in the same fashion.